No, all the way around by the pin. Okay. And then cross. Okay. And, and okay. Just okay. There. Now Not your well viewers done. can actually see what you guys look like. <laughs> Good job. It just, I don't know, it's like grabbing the brass ring. In this week's episode, we're going to go sailing for the very first time. You'll notice right away that the sounds aren't the best. They're a little bit muffled because we did have our masks yep. on. And we were holding a camera while sailing for the first time on a sailboat that didn't have a motor. So it's not the best footage because we were trying to pay attention to what we were doing. And I was focused on where I was supposed to be holding on to through the camera. Right. So sometimes I did cut off the head, so I'm sorry about that. But we hope you enjoy this and come along with us on our first time sailing. <laughs> I'm Scott and this is Allie. We live in Seattle. Over the last several years, we've owned and operated two boats in the Pacific Northwest. And now we're on our search for our liveaboard cruiser. So hit the subscribe button now to come along with us on our boating journey and see where it leads. a fun day planned again on Lake Union. Uh, about a month ago we reserved sailing lessons mm -hmm. here at the center of wooden boats right behind us and we've never done this before so it's a smaller little sailing type vessel yep. and you have to have a lesson before you can actually rent one and then after you um, have your lesson then you also have to schedule what they call a checkout kind of what we did before our yacht charter so a checkout mm -hmm. you then prove to them that you know how to handle the boat and sail it so we've just scheduled those two things once we pass hopefully then we can come down and rent one um, anytime We'll see how it goes. We've never really sailed like this before. Yeah. There's maybe. really not much wind today, so <laughs> we may be, I don't think we'll be motor sailing. No, the boats no. aren't big enough. So. Right now the winds are at about two knots. It's supposed to get up to seven in the next hour. I think they need at least uh, five, so we'll see uh, mm -hmm. how we do. Yeah, these, these boats actually were designed for livery operations, rental operations, that were here on this lake and also Lake Washington. Designed about 1930 by uh, Norm J. Blanchard and a shipwright over at uh, Todd Shipyards, uh, Robert Lynch. And it's a beautiful boat, and we have the largest fleet of them. And not that many were actually made. They're 20 feet long. They have a 550-pound weighted yep. iron keel. Okay. Uh, so a good deal of ballast. It's a nice open cockpit. And uh, they were made as day sailors. And they're a very simple rig. So you have a downhaul, you have your jib sheets for controlling the sail, you have your main sheet for the main, your halyards, and that's pretty much about mm -hmm. it. A very simple rig, but a beautiful boat in profile. You can see that. Yeah. Go ahead and point that camera that way. For yeah. yeah. That's what we're going to be on. Okay. A boat like that. Okay. Very similar. You can see there's long overhangs on the stern and on the bow. Yeah. Okay. And a fractional rig, meaning that the jib only goes up a third of the way two-thirds of the way up the mast really okay see that actually less than that for the jib but that's where the stay is and then that's considered the main sail the big one the big one is the main okay yeah. so on a fractional rig it's interesting because cruising sailboats have usually a masthead rig and their power sail is their genoa their head sail but mm -hmm. very okay. large large uh, head sail right okay so a power sail on a fractional rig is the main and you okay. can really go to weather, meaning towards the wind, under head sail alone, which you can do on a cruising rig. Okay. A rig. But you can notice they're doing, you got your winds out of the north. Right. They're tacking out of here. And the reason we have right of way over most anybody out there on the lake, even paddleboarders and kayakers only, they might not know it. You just want to avoid the clear. Yeah. Uh, is because there's a whole 90 degree piece of the pie that we cannot go into. And to get to a windward destination, you tack back and uh -huh. And the main just stays in. You pull in the jib sheet, maybe a little tighter than they've done here. But anyway, we'll rig our boat okay. and we'll get going here. Now at this point, we'll pull up the main. We already are oriented in the wind. You always want to rig up a about into the wind. If you try to raise the sail when you're facing downwind, 
it's filling, the boat's trying to move right. to try to get the sail all the right. way Yep. Okay, so I will pull up the sail the rest of the way. Actually, if you would like to step aboard the boat. Okay. Right for a moment, right there on the after deck. Do I step here? Yep. Yes, it's, it's solid. Yep. That's fine. Go for it. One tip. And, and lift the end of the boom. Lift it? Just lift it up. Just like that. Oh, there you go. Okay. okay. And then it's so that I can get... The boom should go a little higher. There you go. You're all set. Here we are. Thank you. Okay. Let go? Yeah, that's fine. Yep. Okay. Okay, so... <laughs> Now, at this point, we pull a little tension on our dashboard, uh -huh. but if you, you might notice that the yep. sail is now all the way to the yep. top. Okay, so, go ahead and pull our jib up. Okay. And then, pull. Oh, you can come down to the pocket okay. because I'm holding the boom back so it doesn't swing into you. Yeah. That's fine. And there's not much you can't touch on a sailboat. Yeah. For okay. support. And certainly getting on and off a good place is right here at the <laughs> okay. at the side. You can hold on to your shroud. So yeah. Shroud, okay. Yes, it is another language. Watch your head. Watch yes, it is. And push us out. And we're on our way. Oh, you can get on at the stern though. Yep. <laughs> it will, all right. <laughs> and then okay. head us out, Captain. Okay, so <laughs> Scott, we'll head off over this way. We do have wind. A little on the light side. Okay, so you might want to sit a little forward. Okay. So you can actually steer. It's a short killer on that. Okay. Yeah. So what we're hoping for here. Catch a little bit of wind. A little bit more wind. But anyway, this is good. We're moving. Yeah, we're moving. The main can come out just a little bit more. Right yeah. there. Perfect. Fine. I do see wind coming to us on the water over there. Okay. There's a little patch of it there. And then what we'll do is we'll get over here. We'll get a little bit more speed. Okay. And then we'll do a tack. Okay. And the tack is crossing the wind with the bow. Okay. okay. We're still on a good line? Yeah, this is fine. Now, okay. you do want to use commands. Okay. So you would say something to the effect of, let's say, prepared to tack would be oh, good. Okay. okay. Some people say ready about, but then they All have right. to say coming about, and it's not really maneuver specific. You could be doing jibes, which is a downwind turn. Okay. But let's say prepared to tack. Okay. okay. It's prepared to tack. I'm ready. And then I say ready. This might be cleated. If it was cleated, I might uh -huh. take off the cleat and just, or off the hitch and take hold it on the cleat and say ready. Okay. And then turn the boat, you would say tacking. Now, the reason you want to say tacking, yep. you know, when you're doing it. Because this is going to fly over, right? Well, no, no. That's not the reason. Take your helm hard over. Okay. It's because I need to look forward and see when this sail backwinds. And I know you're oh, turning gotcha. the boat, and now it, it's starting to backwind a little. It's out of the west, is what we have. Interesting. Probably didn't need a tack. You're going to say, wow, look at that. Keep turning. Okay. We stopped into the wind. And you're saying, but we're heading back to where we came from. Yes, because I wasn't paying attention to see where the wind actually was coming from. Okay. So that would be a windward destination. So head this way. Okay. And you're saying, yes, we're going back to the dock. No, we're not. Okay. But we'll get over here and do another tack, and that'll take us off over there. Okay. So it's a westerly flow for the moment. But we are moving. Yeah. This isn't you pushing the bow, the boat off of the dock. Right. This is the wind filling the sails. We're we'll trying to tack. There's your wind. Now see how it's backwinding? Uh -huh. Yeah. So it is coming from the west for the most part. We keep turning. We cross the wind. And so now we're heading out this way under a bit of a light westerly. Now in this situation what I would do is normally in a stronger wind you would have weight to the higher side of the boat uh -huh. to keep the boat flatter in the water. Sure. As you can see right now, no comments on anybody's. <laughs> but we have yes. more weight on that side. Yes. If you were to move to this side, that would actually induce a little bit of heel, which keeps the boom on this side and allows the sail to fill better. Okay. Otherwise, the oh. boom is trying to... Okay. Know, it's a light air. It's a light wind thing. We'll turn up a little closer to weather, because you can see mm -hmm. that we're now actually going downwind. Look at your telltale on the shroud. Yep. The wind is from behind us now. I know it's missing a piece of yarn there, <laughs> but it's still showing you where yep. the wind is coming from. Now, a beam reach is your fastest point of sail, and that is going across the wind. And that would be right about here, having that telltale blowing mm -hmm. towards me. 
And now you're moving a little faster here. Yep. You can yep. see that the flags on the light ship there, yep. it's wrapped around that. Yeah. You know, it's how you're, but uh, the thing is, you can see it's blowing from the north. And this is good. There you are. This would be the telltale that yep. we referenced is the one on this side, the windward side. Okay. And now we have weight to the windward side, which is fine to keep the boat mm -hmm. flat. But yes, if you're in light air, you put weight to the leeward side to induce a little bit okay. of heat. Really healing. Oh, okay. Baba, can we tip over? Are you sure? Okay, so what I'm going to do is knees to the sail. Turn the boat over there. Ready? Okay, ready. Okay, go. Very good. Now we're going to pull it in. And then you might be happier on the high side. Oh, Jesus. There you go. Yes, I know. <laughs> okay, wait, 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 come down, come right up into the window a little bit. Oh wait, you want me back over there? Well, the thing is, you want to right be on the high side, right? Right, right? right off of here. Yeah. Oh, don't worry about that. Yeah. Get off, you'll be out of the way. Yeah. So which Get way should I go? There, just too close to the wind. Okay. So, we're going to put this on over here. You're not in a position to do it. Should I go back? No, go ahead and come over here where I was. Oh, okay. Okay, so. You're doing fine. I hate they did a jack too. That's a masthead rig there. You can see their power sail is yeah. their Genoa. Yeah. A Genoa is a large head sail with a jig. Now here, go ahead and grab this. Now you have a reason for taking it to that hand. Yeah. And then grab it again. Yeah. So you can pull it on there. Allison, move forward. Yep. And then you want the same tight. No, I would take it to the other side first, though. Oh, take it to the side first? Yeah, but the thing is, it's all too far. You need to get it in tighter. Oh, yeah. So it. give yourself a courtesy left. Turn right into the wind for a moment. Okay, there you go. No, no, right into the wind even more. And then pull this in tight. Got it. Yes, but that's it, yeah. It's here. Don't cross the wind. Yeah. And put it on. Now's right. the time to get it on and cross and wraps. Just a couple of wraps. One more, pull that tight. Very good. Okay, so, um, yeah, the, 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 a sailboat heels to weather, and, and it's not so much wind that we would capsize. Okay. Um, <laughs> and we really wouldn't capsize. Turn a little bit, oh, you're fine. Actually, this is nice. Look at that. He's close hauled right now, and you can always, when a sudden swirl comes up, take the boat close to the wind so it's flat uh -huh. in the water. Or attack. And then throw it off. And I mean really throw it off, because you don't want it to catch on anything. Okay. And then, yes, and then bring in your jib. Just take it to that hand for a moment. Yeah. You don't have to take it. That's how you want to hold it to apply it to a cleat though. Yes. And it's in tight. All the way around. No, all the way around let it pinch. Okay. And then cross. Okay. And, and just wrap. That'll work. It's awfully thick line, but yeah. yeah I wouldn't have gone with such thick line and such small cleats. Oh, you're going to hit that buoy. Oh. No, that we didn't want to do. Yeah. Luckily, we, it was just our rail. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, made of metal, but it, it's we just didn't see yeah. it. I know it's because we're oh, you know, distracted by stuff in the boat. So what we'll do here? I know we've got. Oh, this is good. This will be nice. We'll give us actually somebody on their phone sitting there. It'll give us an obstacle that we might want to avoid. Okay. And should we slow down as we get so closer to these? Go ahead and undo your 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 gear, but just let it rock, and we're going to turn right into the wind. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, probably because sure. you're close to those boats. No, it's okay. We're not that close. Oh, okay. <laughs> and right into the wind and hold her into the wind. Don't cross. Don't jack. Oh. Don't jack. Oh, okay. Let go of this. Okay. We want to use it as a giant wind vane. Sit back just a little bit, Allison. Okay. You want to just see where your wind is. So what uh -huh. we're doing here is actually just turn right into the wind. Okay. As long as it's left into one side, you're okay. not head to wind. Okay. We want to put the boat head to wind. Gotcha. And then you'll just see when the boat is stopped. And okay. for that is why we want to be near an obstacle. Oh, fair enough. So you yeah. can actually see when the boat is stopped, turn right into the wind, yeah. have this luffing right here at the mast. Yeah. When the boat is stopped is actually when you are truly in irons. Come back up. Yeah. You don't have the wind on yeah. one side. You gotta play that helm. You might want to sit forward. Yeah. There you go. So you have to hold it right into the wind. So putting her in irons is something we do on a checkout because we have to know that somebody knows how to get out of an iron. Turn even more. Okay. Right now the wind is still on this side of the boat. Yeah. Now when you're stopped, you tell me, I think we're still moving forward. A little bit, yeah. Okay, but when we're stopped, we'll say we have an obstacle on one side. Okay. And we'll say that that obstacle 
Yeah, turn yeah. up more if you can. Now, if you don't have rudder authority, if it's not turning the boat, then you know that you're probably pretty well stuck. Yeah. Is that okay. there? Yeah, it's really okay, so now come back the other way. Yeah. Okay. So we'll say we have an obstacle on this side. Okay. You want to not go that way. Okay. You would back when the sail to that side, and then take your tiller if the boat is stuck to that side. To this side. It's very counterintuitive, but oh. watch what happens. It's because the boat's going backwards. We've now put the rudder on that side. Uh -huh. The boat's going backwards. Water pressure hits the rudder, kicks the stern towards the obstacle, but okay. the backwinded sail took it, the bow away from it. Right. We could do that again. And uh -huh. it's very counterintuitive because yeah. you've been learning to take the tiller over here to go over there. Right. Yeah. And that's not what we did just now. So we'll okay. turn right into the wind and we'll do it again. Sure, why not? Yes, that's right. Nice and tight. Back in the sail in that direction. Okay. Take your tiller over here. Yeah. And we go this way because we're going backwards. Yeah. And there we go. And then once you have boat speed again, then you're going forward and then you can just center your helm and release on that side so we can fill in the sail to the proper side. So that's fine. We're going forward again. So that's getting out of an iron in okay. a controlled manner. Okay. Okay. Sailing. Our wind's behind us. Okay. And Downwind. Yeah, sail. there we go. Just like that. Now the, the jib, oh, we don't want to pull on that. Wow. There. So we want a nice full sail. And we'll head downwind. Okay. And we can turn. We're in a little bit of wind shadow here, yeah. but we're going to get into better wind. And we are moving. You can yeah. see we're moving nicely. So yeah. the whole thing about downwind sailing is turning your main perpendicular to where the wind's coming to keep it nice and filled and pushed forward. Okay. But now, tell your crew, prepare to jibe. Crew, prepare to jibe. Now, if you had a separate main cheater, this is where their job comes in and okay. pulling in the main. Gotcha. You're your own main All cheater, right. so you'll pull it in while steering. That's right. And you get it in close to the boat, and then you tell your crew, jibing. Jibing. And then they know that you're crossing, and, and then, then turn going. the boat. Well, it's Not a jibe. Right. Yep, there we go. I know, it's a little different from a tech. Look at your main, and when it comes yeah. over, let go of it. Just let it go. That is a controlled jar. Straighten your helm. Okay. Just about a 50 degree turn, and then you would just transfer your jib. Gotcha. I'll let you do that, do that now. Okay. And that's how you do it with a fractional rig, as we are here. Okay. And then, yeah, we just put that in nice yeah. and full. No drag on the heavy. And they tie this one there. off on this side. Now, no, right? not necessarily. Oh, have to. Okay. Well, because it is. Well, okay. That hobby cap and, and planing holes with the dagger board, yeah, you would have to move your weight to that side. Okay. But we're keelable. Right, right. Very comfortable to sail on. Yeah. Right? I mean, you don't have to keep doing that. And right. okay. cap size, either. Okay. So I can tie so it off you here. You can tie it off there. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, wait. Not, it has to be full. Oh, okay. Or else you can't even see its shape. Let it go full. There you go. So that it's not blowing forward to the stay that okay. it's attached to, but right here. That's. A, it's adopting the same turn. You want it nice gotcha. and curve full, okay? Yeah, nice and. Uh, but if it, you can see that if it's a, if it's if it's blowing forward of the stay that it's attached to, mm -hmm. it cups. And if it cups, you get less sail area. Right. Okay. So you want it full like that. Okay. okay. Good. And we keep. Yeah, we it off. Okay. So we're moving along, yeah. and the boat heals too much, and somebody loses their footing and falls overboard. Mm -hmm. Okay. Curse splash. Yeah. Man overboard. We want to let people know right. on our boat and any boat nearby that somebody's in the water and okay. they shouldn't be there. Okay, now the first thing you want to do, Scott, is turn away from her. Nope, yeah. you're yeah. crossing yeah. Yeah. You yeah. want to do that. Yeah. You want to go to a beam reach and stop any progress to weather. Not downwind, just across the wind, right here. Yeah. Okay. There you go. So you're making some distance from them. Keep eyes on the person. Yes, that's right. You somebody's want somebody spotting. That's I right. And it's best to have somebody pointing the whole time okay. because then you don't have to keep asking where are they. Right, right. If there's wave action. Right. Then at this point, once you think you're far enough away that you can do the maneuvering you need to do, you tell your uh, your crew heading up or you know tacking. Okay. Because we never really changed our wind or our sail position. We just fell away from the wind a little. Gotcha. Okay. So. Tell your crew, prepare to tack. Prepare to tack. Ready? Okay, yep. so go ahead and come up to weather. Come up and to you weather. You don't have to do this all yourself here. I'll just sort of... So that's it. Tell your crew tacking. Take that tacking. home. Tacking. Yeah, hard over. And I'm looking to see when to release or yep. the other person is spotting. And then at this point, I release the jib. Yeah. We cross the wind. And now at this point, it's important, yes, 
to turn downwind. So let your mane all the way out. Just let go of it. And turn the boat down below them. Not, yep. You don't want to head back for them. You right. want to head downwind of them. So you want to head towards yep. Chandler's Cove over there. Yep. And just push this out if it isn't going out on its own. Yeah. And then just head downwind. Okay. We're moving. It's, it's a light wind affair here, but yes, yeah. we are moving <laughs> down. And we can actually get weight to that side, maybe to keep that boom on that side. There you go. And turn more downwind. Wind's coming from here. We're looking to head on a broad reach. You can check your broad reach again by going too far. The head sails suddenly go slack. And then what we'll do is come up on them. Okay. On this tack, if you're on a broad reach, roughly when they're about oh, 10 o'clock off to the side, okay. 9, 10, 11, 12, yep. then we turn up for them. Okay. Yeah, we'll get back to them, but it is a very light wind affair. <laughs> yeah, right <laughs> Just swim this way. <laughs> yeah. uh, that's a, that's oh, a boom no. crutch. Yeah, I didn't see the paddle. And this is what sailors sometimes yep. do. You put a paddle on the deck and that tells the wind guys, I need some wind, please. Oh, or I'll threaten to use mm -hmm. this. <laughs> there we go. We'll come alongside. We'll pick them up. Yeah. Your arms might be longer, Scott. Oh, just push, just turn the boat towards them a little bit. Yeah. But you get the idea. Oh, yeah. And well, if we time. aren't doing, oh, they're gathering the buoys. So, yeah, they, they're picking them up. So the race was one. Was one. <laughs> and they brought the boats back to deck. Oh, yeah. Very good. And here, I can take your camera so we can still capture all of this. There you go. <laughs> okay. There. Now I'm your well viewers done. can actually see what you guys look like. <laughs> that was there you fun. Go. We saved them. We okay. saved the cushion. So we'll head towards our boathouse over okay. here. There we go. And then what, where I'm going to have you put the boat. Well, it is a light one. Yeah. We'll stay near the end to go back out again, maybe. So when our bow is opposite the bow of the Woods Hole Spritzel right here, uh -huh. that first boat, just yep. turn for the five feet of dock in front of it. We'll turn again. So I'll put gotcha. it the dock. Okay. okay. So we turn hard over to it. And if the wind was blowing strong, this is when you would just simply let go of your jib. Gotcha. And just let the main things okay. all the way out. Good, good. Yeah. You aren't holding it in though, right? Oh, sorry. No, no, no. Don't hold it in. Oh, don't hold it in. No. No, the main. No, no, I'm not. I'm not. Okay, so it's just, I just. That's okay. I'm that's just fine. That's holding good. It there we are. No drag on anything. Okay. And then we turn again. But, and you'll be okay. parallel to the dock. And that's basically how it works. But don't say everybody wants to turn too soon. Okay. Yeah, come up a little closer. And then you'll turn parallel. Yes, it turns on a dime. It's a nice large Yeah, dime. that's the difference between a sailboat and a powerboat with the tiller. Yeah. You can you can turn on a dime very easily. Well, it also depends on the size of that rudder, too. If that's it's yeah. large on a Blanche, you can knock them off. Good job. This is a boat that was built on this lake between 19, the early 19. Good job. It just, I don't know, it's like grabbing the brass ring on a pair of Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, very good. And we head back out. Now this is the working seat this time. And we just pull it in hand tight for the going to weather. Everything comes in close to the boat just like that. We get up wind. Head turn to the dock. Let go of this side. Put it left. Head to the dock. Nope, the dock. All right, come up nice. There we go. Oh, back alley, go the other. Yeah. 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 And when you can actually put them in two hard again, meaning that all boats have to dock, and you'll have one place to be to take it. Oh, yeah. You able to do that. Always remember to come in at the downwind end of your space. So, I guess the next question is is would we A, go sailing on Lake Union again, mm -hmm. and B, do we want to become sailors? Well, I, I should definitely answer A. Um, <laughs> I'm all for sailing on Lake, Lake Union. It was a great day. I mean, it was beautiful. I mean, I will say for the day that we went, there was hardly any wind. I mean, we could we were practically blowing into the sails yeah. to make the boat move. So that we it wasn't a, a great way to judge it. Yeah, because we only say. had about five knots of wind, if mm -hmm, that. If that. Um, and I think the one thing that we did take away from is definitely without a motor, 
is there is just a lot of lingo, a lot of breaching, reaching. This. It just seemed, I mean, you feel a little more helpless, to be yeah. honest. I, I felt like as if we're on a motorboat and our engine side. Yeah. And, and you're at the mercy of the wind. You're at the mercy of all the traffic on the lake. It was a certain sense of control and yet helplessness at the same time, if that makes any sense. Yeah. Years ago, we rented a Hobie Cat, which is very similar. And a Hobie Cat actually can be a little more difficult because you do have to switch from side to side um, to keep it balanced and not get hit by the boom. But it, it's a little bit exhausting, I think, too. So if we want to go back, we still have to do the checkout, mm -hmm. which we have to totally show that we can do it on our own. I think we need another lesson or two before we could do the checkout. Yeah. And, and maybe we do that for next summer if we don't have a boat. But are we ready to be sailors? I think we're power boaters. Uh, yeah, right now. I mean, it, it's definitely a different language. I mean, jibbing, jiving, tacking. You reaching, know, breaching. Breach, yeah, you know, uh, beam sail. I, I, well, I'm not even going to give it a downhaul with all the mainstay, halyards, all this stuff, you know, <laughs> sheets and, and, and nothing. I don't. It didn't it, make a whole lot it of doesn't, sense. It doesn't make, I don't know. And the other thing is, you know, uh, the sight lines were a little more difficult. I think for having three people in a small boat like that just made it a little more difficult. Um, it was, you know, it was physically and, and mentally exhausting, I think. Um, at least for me. So, Just it was a little intimidating. Very much so. And I think part of it on a, sl on a smaller boat, your mainsail is so much lower. The irony of this whole experience is that we started our blog and started our channel because we do want to eventually buy a leopard catamaran, um, or at least we think it's a leopard, yeah. uh, to retire on. So we have certainly have gotten um, to a funny point here, but I don't think the fractional sailboats are anything like a larger sailboat by any means. And we've been on yeah. uh, larger catamarans um, and I just think it's their night and day, but we thought this would be a good start and uh, we'll be sure maybe check it out again. Mm -hmm. oh, 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 <laughs> that, it, I, I've done it myself on that boat where I went into the lake because I was on and off Blanchard to the keel. Coming up next time, we tour Beachcomber, a 1995 Sea Raid 550. Wait till you see all she has to offer. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up share it with your family and friends, and hit the notification bells to be notified when we release our next video.